after I was asked, I was having tea with one of my friends who was a black queer woman and a great organizer in the Toledo community. Mm-hmm. And I told her about this. And she said, is that the message that you want to send to all young women of color that they can't do this? And that just hit me, right? It was a reminder of the moment that I vowed that I would grow up to be able to stand up for communities who are in vulnerable situations. So that was the breaking moment when I decided, you know what, I had to do this. And I did some research on the person who is serving in Senate District 2. And Senate District 2 covers Wood County, Lucas County, Ottawa County, Erie County, and Fulton County. Lucas and Fulton are not covered in whole. They are covered in parts. And the other three counties, Wood, Erie, and Ottawa are covered in full. It has 360,000 people. Wow. Um, and it's a, like it's almost a congressional district. So it's huge. Uh, but the district has mostly gone for Obama. So there is a very high likelihood and ability to flip that district. The Senate district seat has actually never been blue. Uh, I am running as a Democrat. I'm the endorsed Democrat, in addition, obviously, to my endorsement by the Matriots, which is my favorite endorsement. Yay. Uh, <laughs> the the Ohio State House only has about a quarter, um, you know, quarter of it being women. So about twenty five percent of women in a community where women make up more than fifty percent of the population. Yeah. So it's really unfortunate that we have not yet caught on, uh, but we have every intent of winning this race and working alongside. There are so many other women who are running for great races in the area, um, you mentioned the Toledo area. I don't have the city of Toledo, but I have the greater Toledo area. So um, for example, um, you know, there's people who are not currently running uh, like Teresa Fetter, who is another matriot. And yeah. there's Lisa Sebecki who is running and there's um, Nancy Larson and so many other wonderful women who are running for those seats. And it's really important that we have women and that we have people of color at the decision-making table. 